guys, welcome back to another Ranting Ride. I am in Mount Dora, Florida. If you're very familiar with like the middle of nowhere, Florida, that's where I am. The sun is kind of, I can't tell if it's affecting the camera, but if it is, I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying my um, different makeup things. I've been trying to find makeup that like not everybody is doing on their channels um, and try to focus a little more on kind of indie brands and smaller brands and just not so saturated brands. Um, that and just trying to find things are just interesting. Now, I made a comment on a video the other day. I think I put it in the comments. I don't know if any of you guys did it in maybe I said on the video, but I challenge you guys to go over to, I mean, you could search the internet for this and just search, search mature makeup. I mean, at what point are you considered mature? You know, at what age? I mean, I'm 49 and I'm told that I'm more mature uh, and I'm of course too mature for makeup companies to to uh, talk about their makeup. I guess I don't have, according to them, any influence. I don't know. Who cares? You know, no, I'm not going to twist people's arm to buy shit. Sorry. No. But anyway, I mean, what the hell? What, because I'm older, I, I can't wear bright colors? Yes, I'm, I, and I was like, wear a very neutral look today. I will tell you guys, I am wearing the that new Too Faced Damn Girl mascara and look at it is like I'm trying to drive and show you but I have curl to my I do I don't curl my lashes I hate those barbaric freaking things I don't like them they terrify the shit out of me I'm so afraid that I'm going to catch my eyelid or yank an eyelash out I just I don't use them you know I, I think why can't we just like and I'm too claustrophobic to get a lash lift I want to get a lash lift and freak the you know what out couldn't do it. I tried. I laid down. I, she put these things over my eyes. I said, nope, can't do it. Let me up. <laughs> I, plus it was a small room. It was hot in there. Uh, I, there was so many just factors in. I, I'm claustrophobic to the point where I cannot go underwater. Like my head underwater because I get like, I feel trapped. I, it's, I was a swimmer. I was a synchronized swimmer, which if you, you know anything about that, you hold your breath for extended periods of time. If you know the length of an Olympic-sized pool, I had to swim that underwater one breath, meaning up, uh, end of the pool, up, uh, that's it, one breath. So take a breath, go under, swim the length of the pool, and then come up. We would have to do that four times, down and back, well, breathe, down, breathe, back. Breathe down, breathe back, <laughs> four times. Then we had these really cool, yeah, I, I, we had these really cool laps. I mean, you've seen like swimmers, they do their, you know, so many laps this way, so many, you know, so many laps at the stroke, so many laps at the stroke, so many laps back stroke. Um, <laughs> and then we had, um, I forget what they were called, but you would start out on your back, then you would put one leg up, yeah, you, with your back, and then you put the other leg up, and then you would turn around and like spin your body around, and then one leg down, one leg down, scoot out, and do it again. It was actually really cool, but you have to see it. But those were difficult. Those were very difficult. If you search synchronized swimming and ballet leg, or synchronized swimming and doubles, Doubles is where you, you're laying on your back with both legs up by the water. Ballet leg is one leg out of the water while your head is still out. Very cool. But I miss it. I missed being part of a team. It was it was a lot of fun being a part of a team. It was a lot of fun competing. I, I'm a very competitive person. I enjoy that competitiveness. That's just me. Being me. You know, and not so much like I like the camar camaraderie, you know, and the, like fellowship of, of competing and stuff. I had a lot of fun doing that. But uh, back to what I was talking about about if you look online and you look at uh, mature makeup, I mean, 
what the hell? Just because if you're over 40, you have to wear neutral colors? I mean, screw you. I'm going to wear like purple, pink, teal. I'm going to wear bright, crazy colors until like they can't like lift my arm to put makeup on anymore. And then I'll hire somebody to put it on me. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine how I'm going to be when I get old? Because I am, I am such a kid at heart. If you guys knew me in person, you would see I am like... I am the epitome of a 12-year-old trapped in a 49-year-old's body. I really am. But I'm really dinging this mascara, though. I like mascara that curls your lashes so you don't have to. And if you can see, you can really actually see my lashes. They're kind of curled. My lashes, like, go down <laughs> practically. But I have been using that. I'm going on my fourth bottle of the uh, new lash. So, wait, oh my god, I'm in the wrong lane. Am I? Oh, screw this. I hate this. Now I have to be. It says left lane, 49, 429 connector road, 0.6 miles. Why is it right there? That's not 0.6 miles. Anyway. <laughs> to live. It's a little tiny town, Sorrento. It's very pretty, though. I just came from Mount Dora, and if you look up Mount Dora online, very cool thing, which, I, God, I wish I, I always want to take a picture of this house. If you search Mount Dora, Florida, and the Starry Starry Nights house, Starry Starry Nights from Mango, was it? Anyway, search that painting. There's somebody that painted their entire house like that. They have had so much shit about painting this house. They've had, oh, they've even threatened to, like, find them every day that they don't paint it. It's, it's like, it, they try to say it's an eyesore. No, it's not an eyesore. It's like everybody knows that house, and it's, I think it's very pretty. I think it's very just, it, it brightens up that little patch of the road. It just, everybody knows it. And it's kind of become like a uh, landmark now. I always love getting interrupted by a phone call. Because when I tape on my phone, it um, it just it stops me from filming. So, don't know what I was saying, but anyway. <laughs> I think we were talking about colors and age and whatnot, but... But, um, I've been dealing with, oh, I started talking about my health. I've been dealing with this, as you guys know, I have gastroparesis. I'm dealing with something right now where I've got this big lump in my wrist that's like in, on my joint, on the bone. I don't even know. It's right there. I don't know if, I can't really show you what I'm driving. It's like right on the inside part, on this inside part. You know how you have the big bone on the outside? Now I have a big bone on the inside. And it hurts like hell. See? It's like a lump right there. I don't know what the hell that is. I need to go get it looked at. I might do that today. Because, I mean, it hurts so bad to, like, even use my wrist. But I've been having a lot of joint pain. And it's kind of, like, scaring me. And, like... Muscle, my muscles are, they're only sore if I like touch them. Always beep at the prison guys. <laughs> oh, some of them are cute, but those weren't. You make them feel good, you know? They're locked up in their little cage all day. I couldn't imagine that. Could you imagine being locked up? Some of those guys are locked up. 
it up 23 hours a day. That should be like so illegal. So. But. Um. I'm gonna announce this one more time. I am giving the person 48 hours that I picked to win the Blue Blood palette to answer my message on Instagram. If you do not answer within 48 hours, this is your notification that you will be disqualified and I will pick another winner. So, guys, if you have not entered into it, um, I'm not taking any new entries, so don't try to sneak one in because it's not going to happen. But if you guys ever enter one of my giveaways and you do not answer my email, I do not sit and wait for like a month. I, I, I'm good about waiting. I'll wait a couple, I'll, I might even wait two weeks sometimes, especially like this time of year. People are out of town with holiday, you yeah, know, holidays, but like almost summer. We just had, what was it, spring break or whatever the hell? I don't know. We just had that break. Plus we just had Memorial, Memorial Day. I, who knows? Anyway. <laughs> God, I can't even think straight today. That's the one thing that really, if you guys could spend a day in my life, you would like, it would freak you out because I will be in the middle of doing something and completely forget what I was doing. And, and I, sometimes I'll be like on my way somewhere, I'll forget. Uh, it, and they say it's because of my, my digestion issues that it's causing my brain to starve from nutrients that it needs to function. And it's not a fun thing. I will tell you, it's not something that I would wish on my worst enemy. I just couldn't... I couldn't imagine having to watch somebody go through this. And I know it bothers my husband. It, it really... He tries to play it off and he tries to make a joke about a lot of it. But it's... Because it does bother him. I can tell it bothers him. But, you know, that's how, a lot of men, that's how they do, you know, to avoid worrying about something or, you know, making it look like something's not really bothering them. And sometimes just to cope with things, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people, not just men, but a lot of people in general, that's their, like, coping mechanism. Is to kind of joke things off and whatnot. What are you doing, dude? You are so gonna cause an accident, you fool. I pity the fool, I pity the fool. Oh my god, why are you driving? This guy's driving with these, well, you'll see him as soon as I pass him. These two huge tanks in the car, and they're like too big for the back of this truck. They're sticking up like six foot on. And now he just pulled up inside the road. But, talking about coping mechanisms. You know, and a lot of times that's my coping mechanism for things is to joke, make a joke out of stuff. And you guys hear me a lot of times like joke off things that are bothering me. But that's just, sometimes that's just how I do, you know. I've been going through a lot lately and, you know, I have a few close friends. And I've just been... Everybody's telling me I'm being very distant from them, but I'm just, I'm tired of getting hurt. I'm tired of like putting, putting it all out there, putting my heart, heart out there, you know, and putting myself on the line and not getting it in return. You know, I, I'm always helping somebody, you know, all the time. I'm always the first one. Hey, what do you need? You know, or something, see something's wrong with somebody. I always try to fix it. And, you know, I never, I've never had a friend be that for me ever and it's just sad you know the kind of friend I am I'm the kind of friend you can call at two o'clock in the morning broke down on the side of the road and I'll come help you to I'll tow your car whatever we got to do I'll help you know I mean that's just that's how I am that's like how I was raised and it seems like people nowadays, they just don't care. It's like they take, take, take. Like, like um, if you guys are familiar with the Rocky Horror Picture Show, I will quote that. 
they take, take, take and drain others of their love and emotion. You chew people up and you spit them out again. If anybody knows what, who said that, let me know. <laughs> you drain others of their love and emotion. You chew people up and you spit them out again. And I can't remember the rest of it. <laughs> Oh my god. I used to see I've seen that movie I can honestly say probably twelve hundred times. I can quote the entire movie while it's playing. Oh, I love that movie. I used to actually dress up as magenta every Saturday Friday and Saturday night <laughs> in Coconut Grove, Florida. And then I also did it in um, Margate, Florida, which is part of Fort Lauderdale. And, um, God, where was the other? I, had, I went to another one, too. I can't remember. I've actually, um, I've dressed up at three different theaters. But, um, very, very, very cool. I loved doing that. Absolutely freaking loved doing that. And if you guys are familiar with the movie, I had an exact copy of the very last outfit that Riff Raff and Magenta wore their spacesuits, their sexy spacesuits at the end. I had exact copies of those. It was very cool. I had the little maid outfit. It was a blast, man. I loved doing that. Plus, I did everybody's makeup on the cast, which was cool. And then we would do, like, switch night. Switch night was you would switch places with another person of the opposite sex. <laughs> switch nights were so fun because I got to do uh, Frankenfurter, you know, the main character, which was um, Tim Curry's character. And that was embarrassing running around in lingerie and a wig all night, but hey, it was a blast. I had so much fun. That was my, I, I played Riff Raff, I played, I played that, I played Eddie one time, Meatloaf. <laughs> that was fun. I did that for years and years. Actually, my, I think I mentioned my daughter. Her father I met at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Funny story, when I met him, I don't know what possessed me. I had this belt and it was handcuffs. It was a leather belt and then the, the buckle in front was an actual pair of handcuffs. <laughs> I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I handcuffed him to the urinal. I don't know why, but that was a big joke all the time. Oh yeah, she when she met me, she handcuffed me to a urinal. Every, we used to hang, it was like a um, co-ed bathroom, it was just one big bathroom, and uh, we all used to go and hang out in there between, you'd hang out there between like scenes, you know, especially if you were in costume, we'd go hang out there and use the dessert like dressing room, it's funny because if you're there to see the movie, it was very hard to use the bathroom, because when you go into the bathroom, you here you are with everybody getting dressed and putting makeup on, and uh, it was, it was a lot of fun though. But I am back in my neighborhood today. I have a lot of makeup coming in today. I have a lot of items. Some I do a lot of resale also. So if you guys are ever looking for anything like makeup or, you know, cosmetic brand oriented, let me know. Because if you're looking for anything you can't find, I can 99.9% the time find it. Why is that car parked crooked in the middle of the road? It looks like abandoned. It's not how you park. Anyway, I am going to uh, sign off here. You guys have a wonderful day. If you guys have any suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see, let me know below and I shall see about making them happen. Have a great day and I shall see you in the next one.